I'm just gonna say this. Me, you, and everyone blamed for these forest fires. Directly and indirectly. Let me just give you a gist of the factual things of science. When we burn things, when any, anything gets burned, trees or oil or gas, turns into CO2. CO2 is a heat trapping molecules. More CO2, more heat trapping molecules. That means more moisture is absorbed more and more. And it causes more dryness. You can say, oh, I wish they could winter. Oh, I wish they could live that way. But that's drying up. That goes, there's a graph that goes like this, you know? Everything's documented from space way to the dirt. CO2 is measured, um, I think it was California, but somewhere in the western part of the states, they uh, collect samples of CO2 in the atmosphere. And it's sad that people have to start, like, it's just a really sad part of the human race. Um, and then you guys, uh, you're probably going to start saying, oh, some places getting lots of floods. And I'm like, well, gee, just think where all that water came from. It came from places that are drying up. You get forest fires. Food security is going to be really disgusting, like, what, five, ten, fifteen years? Because everything is being burnt up or drowned. That's a fact. Homes are already expensive. Guess what homes are made of? Wood. What is the furniture is made of? Wood. Think of anything that's made of? Wood. And all of that is being burnt up because of our ignorance for dirty, filthy money. Or ignorance, or selfishness, or greed for something that's causing this problem we're dealing with. We were warned in like the 1970s, 1980s, 1990s, 2000s. And look at where we're at now. Everyone's going to suffer. I'm suffering because I can't go outside without getting a headache. Because the smoke. But everyone is part of the problem. The cause of these forest fires. Everyone. Tell your kids, hey, is it worth having more kids? They would have no clue because they don't know how good things were like 15 years ago, for example. They would be living in forest fires and smoke. They don't know how, what it's like not to have it. They're going to go through poverty. Poverty means lack of food sources, food security, food security. Holy crap, food security. The rich, they can escape this. Are you guys going to plant, plant like five trees a year from the seedlings that you planted by a windowsill? If you don't have a yard for a greenhouse, a mini greenhouse? Like, what are you guys doing? Being part of the problem? I hate being part of the problem, but I am. So are you. And I know you guys are too ignorant to really realize this. The saying, ignorance is a bliss, that's, I just want to just bomb it. But, you know, we can't change back how things were like 20 years ago. We can't ever change back. Because the human population demands every little greedy, selfish, materialistic thing. And that's reality. We're not going to go back, ever. We're, everyone, everything's going to suffer. Okay, bye.